Geico proudly presents the Sunday Night Anthem. Sunday Night Football, everybody watch it! where the Cowboys have won 14 straight games. Led by their quarterback, Dak Prescott, his 9-3 team. Facing Jalen Hurts and the 10-2 Philadelphia Eagles on NBC's Sunday Night Football. Thanks for having us in. Mike Tirico, Chris Collinsworth, Melissa Stark. A great rivalry and a spot at the top of the NFC, so it makes it the NFC, so it makes it even better. Chris, the Cowboys offense has been terrific. Over 40 points, three of the last four games. Dak Prescott may be playing his best football ever. Why do you think that is? Well, CeeDee Lamb's been fantastic, first true. of all. We've seen this offensive line really gel and play some of their best football, but I really think Dak has taken such trust now in Mike McCarthy's West Coast offense, you know, but Schedule gets tougher from here, and we haven't seen this offense do this against some of the better teams in the league. We'll get a chance tonight. And this is the best team in the league by record. The Eagles are still 10-2. and two. It doesn't feel it after they lost at home to the Niners last week by 23. What's important for Philly to get back on track tonight? Well, the Eagles have been playing some of the best teams in football, and over the last month, they only have one loss to show for that. But this Eagles defense, they have to be better. They got embarrassed against the San Francisco 49ers, and tonight they face one of the hottest offenses in all of football. We have two of the best teams. We have two of the best quarterbacks. <laughs> this is going to be a party tonight. Week 9, they met in South Philly, and the Eagles won by five. As the Cowboys quarterback likes to say, here we go. From Arlington, for the top of the NFC East, the Cowboys and the Eagles, one of the best rivalries in the league. We've got it for you coming up on NBC's Sunday Night Football. Night. Sunday Night Football is brought to you by Hyundai. It's your journey. And by Untuck It. Shirts designed to be worn untucked. Untuckit.com. NBC Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Real talk now. When I was a kid, I grew up mesmerized by the blue star on the silver helmet. All the glory and tradition of America's team. I was a Cowboys fan. And then I moved to Philly. And it's gone! Kind of a work thing. Harper's 300th career home run. If you know my city, you know what the Eagles mean to us. They're part of the Philly fabric. Philly pride and the Philly way. 
And so I know from being on both sides of this robbery how important this game tonight is to these teams. Give me everything you got! All the history. These are two teams that just simply don't like each other. All the memories. You can feel it in your bones. Believe me, as an athlete, when you become part of that, you get consumed by it. Oh, so even if they weren't two of the best teams in football, Touchdown, Eagles. when these two sides get together, it's going to be a barn burner. It just matters more. Go win this! Ah! Philly, Dallas, on Sunday night. Seven-time All-Star, two-time National League MVP, Bryce Harper. Now five years of Philly, converted Eagles fan as well. A little perspective on this much-anticipated game atop the NFC East. Here it's been an eventful week for the Cowboys head coach. For more on that, here's Melissa Stark. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Mike. It sure has. Mike McCarthy came to the Cowboys practice facility Wednesday morning complaining of stomach pain. He'd been having it for several weeks. The team's athletic trainer sent McCarthy to the hospital where he learned he had acute appendicitis. He went into an emergency three-hour surgery, spent that night in the hospital, zoomed into team meetings on Thursday, and was back in the facility by Friday. That's when we met with him. He told us energy-wise, he feels great. He's just sore. And we asked if he considered calling the plays tonight from the coach's box. He said no. He said he has to be on the field to see the quarterback's eyes, his head, his feet. So tonight, about 100 hours post-surgery, he'll be on the sidelines. One other note, Cowboys linebacker Micah Parsons, he was added to the injury report today with an illness. He woke up with flu-like symptoms. He had an IV earlier. I just asked him, you good? He nodded and gave me a thumbs up, Mike. We'll keep a close eye on him, Melissa. Top five seeds up to the moment in the NFC. Nick Sirianni, the Eagles, control their path to the NFC East title. No matter what happens tonight, win and the Eagles are two games ahead of Dallas with the tiebreaker and win or tie, and they're in the playoffs. Cowboys win. We've got three tied for the best record in the NFC, and the Niners would control their path to the number one seed. Toss won by the Eagles. Defer to the second half. So that good Cowboy offense gets the ball first. Devontae Turpin awaits Jake Elliott's kickoff. 90,000 on their feet. Off we go from Arlington. Turpin's aggressive. He's going to take it from 5 team. And bring it out to the left. He's got a little space there. And Turpin returns it to the 25 where the Cowboys offense will begin. 